although I love my new 2022 Yamaha MT-07 that I fully modded and this thing is absolutely so awesome now man I've had a lot of bikes but you know what there is one motorcycle that I regret not buying let's go for a ride subscribe today for doing this type of ride now here in the urban environment in the city out here i tell you this is one of the best bikes you can get man i'm telling you very comfortable quick torquey sounds awesome i'm telling you man this is my yamaha davidson i like to call it <laughs> but i'm gonna tell you this man that there's this motorcycle that i actually bought once and then i reneged on it and i'm so sorry that i didn't buy it listen to that yeah baby i have links to all of my gear which is awesome like this airbag vest to help keep you safe out there my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield my gauntlet gloves dionysia winter jacket motor vlog camera pants boots gloves all my gear i include links in the description and comment section of this video that is the kawasaki ninja h2 I make fun of that bike. I call it one of the most ugliest bikes out there. It's so ugly, it's badass. But you know what, man? That bike is a one of a kind. It's like a unicorn bike. And I tell you that that bike, I bought one actually, and it had carbon fiber reels. It was, I think it was a 2018 or 19 or something at the time. I remember. Um, it only had a few miles on it. It was a showcase bike in a dealership. And it was like 22, 23,000 or something. And I bought it and then I reneged. I said, you know what? I need that bike like I need the hole in the head because I'll probably get speeding tickets or something. But I am so sorry. I regret not buying that bike because the H2 now is, is a, a collector's bike now. Look, hold on. Woo! <laughs> this thing is fun, man. It sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah baby but anyways i was looking at cycle trader at used bikes because i was thinking i might get one i was like they want third 29 30 to thirty thousand dollars for old used kawasaki h2s with like ten thousand miles on it was selling for like twenty nine thousand. is that crazy or what man they hold their value so well and they're sought after and they're a collector's bike and they will be a collector's bike. They'll be worth even more money in the future. Watch. When they when they force us to ride electric motorcycles only, guys, in the future, that that will be a collector's bike. And people will people will pay 50, 60, 70 plus thousand dollars more for that bike, man. Mark my words, guys. The dumbest thing I did was not get that H2, man. The H2, the new one's got what, 228 horsepower, 105 pounds feet of torque, and you know I love torque. Now, the only reason, like I said, I didn't get the bike, because I, I don't need that extra power. I really don't, that's crazy. I probably never use it, but if I did take it to a drag race track, that's where they shine. That's a straight up drag bike. Um, but it's, they say, man, it, it's got so, such great grunt and bottom end torque and so much torque on that bike then it makes for a good street bike too man i see some of you guys having fun out here on the streets you don't, and like i said you don't need to go fast to enjoy a bike that has a lot of torque you know what i'm saying like this bike this bike is it, it on paper it may not seem like much at 50 pounds feet of torque but it's where that torque is on this bike you know what i'm saying at the bottom of the mid-range I'm telling you, this thing, you, this is a very deceptive little bike, man. I'm telling, <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing, uh, and that's why I got it, because I love the soundtrack and I love the torque, and everybody said it's fun, and every, and the, everybody that rode this bike were, was right. It is a fun bike. It sounds amazing with the aftermarket pipe, but the H2, the sound of that supercharger. Oh my gosh, man. I'm telling you, that is so unique. I, what is that? The only production motorcycle, new production motorcycle that has a supercharger on it these days. And it sounds sick. It's just a unique sound to it. And it's just soul stirring. And uh, so I think 
guys I may go ahead and throw my hat my put my order in for a new brand new Kawasaki H2 man what do you guys think leave a comment below I know I don't need the power but I it's just such a unique bike like I said so ugly is badass and it's got that really awesome paint job on there the black chrome or with the silver sparkles on it and the only thing that sucks and another reason why I didn't buy the H2 at the time was because if you drop that bike guys a fairing one fairing on the side is like a thousand dollars or something crazy man it's really expensive if you drop that bike it's it's uh you know it's not like the other normal sport bike fairings at like five hundred dollars or something you pay a thousand because it's 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 not a a high production bike you actually have to put special order in for it they only make so many a year man and they used to be a lot cheaper you used to be able to get one i think they were like twenty five thousand back in like 2015 through 18 or something they were in the 20s now they're in the 30s man because people they're, they're highly they're sought after man they're they're collector's bikes so what do you guys think since you get an h2 man i'm so sorry i didn't get that one with the carbon fiber wheels that was so sick guys dumb 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 man instead i got the stupid apriya tuano which was cool don't get me wrong it's not stupid but i had problems with that one i got i wish i'd have got the kawasaki h2 man instead and that that bike that h2 just commands presence it just it, it's no other bike looks like it no other bike sounds like it with that supercharger it's just an absolutely sick bike um, but I tell you, I'm loving this bike. If I get another bike, obviously, I'm not getting rid of my YZ or this bike. These are staples. These are the two most fun motorcycles that I've ha I've ever had so far out of my 12 bikes. I love this little MTL 7, man. I got it down to 388 pounds. I'll tell you this thing. <laughs> I'll tell you, I put the k in filter on this, guys. And yeah, I took the snorkel off. Put the uh, carbon a fiber full racing acro povic exhaust on here a crop of its exhaust i'm telling you guys this is a fun little bike right here though man <laughs> even here on the highway you this little bike i'm telling you it's got some spunk man that torque <laughs> i know it sounds crazy guys and i like this better than the mtl9 believe it or not and uh just because the, the chassis the setup of it but this CP2 engine, just listen to the sound, guys. <laughs> it sounds so awesome, man. Oh my gosh. Such a cool. Here's Lindale, guys. Whatever you do, don't speed through Lindale here. This is where everybody's seen. They got cameras here and everything else. They give you tickets, man. For that little town, that little section called Lindale. <laughs> But anyway, you see everybody slow down. Listen to that sound, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this. Boom. Yeah, baby. Oh, I love this little MTL 7. Throw it around. Sounds good. But for, for, I'm telling you, for those of you on a budget, you want an all-around cool bike, sounds good, quick, torquey, lightweight, Reliable MTL7 all day, baby. All day. Loving this bike, man. Absolutely loving it. But anyways, guys, leave a comment below whether you think I should get that new H2 or what. Uh, or what bike I should get. Leave a comment below. Hit thumbs up. Helps my channel, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol so you get notified of my new videos. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I got some more videos, lots of more videos coming, baby. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.